It's like literally all around. Yeah, you guys saw that right. It's 3.57 a.m. Uh, bright and early. And I'm willing to bet that at the time I'm filming this, probably at least 98% of you guys are still sleeping. So I got a little bit of a drive ahead of me today. I got about an hour and a half drive to get to the harbor, and that's just what it takes to do some salmon fishing. So, here in the Bay Area, salmon fishing opens typically the first Saturday in April, I believe. Um, so, now that it's April, salmon fishing is open, and this is my first trip out. I haven't been out yet this year. And for the past week or two, it has been pretty hot, actually. Party boats have been getting them. Um, uh, private boats have been getting up. Pretty much everyone's been getting limits. Uh, one of my buddies actually went fishing uh, two days ago and they got their limit by 8.30 a.m. So needless to say, the bite has been pretty hot. I don't want to jinx anything, but I'm hoping that we can get on some fish today. I'm going out with a few buddies. Got all my uh, salmon gear out of the closet. Knocked off all the dust. Probably gonna be trolling today. I got my watermelon apexes, my crippled anchovies. I think I'm gonna start off today with a watermelon apex. If you're a beginner salmon fishing, the watermelon apex is pretty much the way to go in my opinion. It's super easy. Literally, you don't need it. It's just directly, you know, low bait, no nothing. It's just directly your line to that lure. Um, it's pretty much the easiest way and pretty effective in my opinion as well. So if you are a viewer of this channel from last year, I got my PB salmon on a watermelon apex and I didn't weigh it, but it's pushing 25 pounds, somewhere around there, which for the Bay Area, California is pretty good size. Anyways, I'm just rambling now. I got about an hour and a half drive ahead of me. So I'm gonna knock that out and I'll see you guys out on the water. guys so I've done a how-to on how downriggers work in the past but if you want me to do another how-to and we'll go into more detail let me know in the comments section below um, but I did want to give a little background on how we were fishing on this particular day so we had four people fishing and two downriggers and so that means it's two people two poles for each downrigger and they're separated by about 15 feet to avoid the two from tangling so the bottom rod we're fishing anywhere around 80 to 40 feet and then the top rod was anywhere around 60 to even 20 as shallow as 20 feet so the key the name of the game is to figure out where those fish are biting and on this day in particular they weren't really biting at any one specific depth we we're caught fish anywhere between 80 and 20 feet so that's how we were fishing on this particular rod i was on the top rod so fishing around 20 feet or so and then if all goes well, we'll see the rod pop up like this, and it'll be fish on. So we'll get back to the video, and I'll catch you guys back at the end. Yeah. 
I can still see the weight. Yep. Oh, Paul. Paul. There you go. That one's on. All right. Oh. Chunk here. Ready. Ready, ready. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was a tough one? Yeah. He missed his chance when he was out there. Yeah, he lost his chance. Uh, I think it's okay. Alright guys, that was all the action for me on this day. I finished up with two and as a group for the four of us, we finished up with one shy of limits. So seven fish, uh, the limit on salmon is two fish per person um, here in California. So all the fish were somewhere between, I think the smallest was five pounds and the biggest was probably around 10 pounds, something like that. So nothing huge, but that can be expected with salmon fishing generally. The salmon are generally smaller at the beginning of the season and then as we tail into the fall and late summer months the fish progressively get bigger and bigger so expect me to be out there fishing for salmon again soon and creating another video for you guys and on that topic if you guys have any questions about salmon fishing anything that I use in this video any questions about tactics downriggers in general um, leave a comment below and I'll be sure to answer them in the next video. As far as the baits we used in this video, I caught both of my fish on a watermelon apex, so I'll leave that linked in the description below. We also caught fish on hoochies, we caught fish on crippled anchovies, um, there wasn't really one bait in particular that they were hitting on, 
but as the season progresses I'll be sure to incorporate more different kinds of baits and more different kinds of tactics for the salmon fishing so thank you guys for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next video